You are now watching Tales from the Grid. Let's get into it. You ready for the set? I'm so ready. We've got so many Lightning Collection figures to reveal. Yeah. And I think the first one is a doozy. So let's check them out. Wait, wait. Yeah, so Tommy in his Dino Thunder Black Ranger suit. Um, I'm psyched for this one. Dino Thunder is one of my favorite seasons. Obviously, I mean, the way we work, this figure has been in production for a very long time. Um, you know, it was set before the unfortunate news of JDS passing, which hit us all really hard. Um, you know, I don't know about you, but when I was 12, I wanted to be Tommy Oliver when I grew Absolutely. up. Absolutely. Yeah. I think everyone did watch Power Rangers. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, I think the figure is really cool. And I, I love, I've always loved his, like, early 2000s little, <laughs> that's, <laughs> little goatee. Yeah, that's kind of my fave. And I know, like, with the 30th anniversary year, we had some other stuff planned with him um, that we're going to reveal later on this year. I had the absolute honor of getting to work directly with him. And um, I think fans are going to really appreciate what's coming up. Absolutely. So that's Dino Thunder, Black Tommy Oliver, doc, excuse me, Dr. Doctor. Tommy Oliver, uh, is the first figure from this wave that you can check out. You can't have the oh, full yeah. Dino Thunder team without... The full Dino Thunder villain, Mesogod. That looks really good, that sculpt. Let's take a look. Uh, so, Mesogog is uh, it's always really exciting to get uh, a villain character into the line, especially within the mainline assortment. You know, it can be really tricky um, getting uh, all the new parts um, for a character like Mezagog, who is so distinct. He's got the robe, he's got the you know unique legs, arms, and of course that head that with a with a moving mouth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but our amazing designer Loretta and sculptor Corey and the rest of the team pulled together a really awesome figure that I think you guys will be really excited to get your hands on. Uh, he comes with two, two extra hands and two different blast effect parts. This one in this hand can actually be mounted on his head for a little head brain beam thing. Um, and yeah, that's our second Lightning Collection figure for this assortment. Yeah, and as a writer person, the rivalry between Anton Mercer and Dr. Tommy Oliver is actually a really solid storytelling. That's one of the reasons Dino Thunder is so cool. Absolutely. So, what do we got next? Power Rangers, yeah. Lost, yes, Lost Galaxy. Kendrick's. Absolutely. <laughs> so, uh, Kendrick's super cool character, super cool figure. Uh, what do you know about her? Well, I know she's a pink right now. Just <laughs> so she had a really cool storyline. She sort of sacrificed herself to. That's yes, right. Her, she gave oh. up her Quasar saber, and then uh, Caron took it. Mm -hmm. um, but also, I love that she's a superhero in glasses. That's always going to be a thing. That yes. I wear contacts now, but that as a kid, I always appreciated seeing someone in glasses kicking butt. Absolutely. Speaking of those glasses, on the civilian head of Kendricks, they're actually removable. So if you just do a little finagle in here, you can pull off the glasses. And now she is hard of seeing Kendricks. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is I think either I think this is the second to last Lost, Lost Galaxy figure that we're releasing, um, and the rest of the team is still coming. We have one more, so stay tuned for that. But for now, Kendricks will be complimenting uh, the team. What's up, everyone? It's Kai Moya, the Dino Fury Blue Ranger, and I'm here today with someone very special, the Dino Fury Blue Ranger. Would you look at that? The classic lightning collection it has my face on it, and I've never seen it before, so I'm kind of nervous and excited at the same time, but I'm excited to show you guys. Here he is. Here is. Wow. <laughs> I think it really looks like me. Check it out. Is it? They did a good job. It comes with the classic interchangeable helmets and hands and Dino Fury saber, so let's bring that out. Woohoo! Look at that. There it is. 
Finishing touches with the Dino Fury Saber. All right. Oh, look at all those lightning bolts coming up. Classic lightning collection. You can do all the poses with it. Man, that's so good. You can even have the lightning off if you want. Right here. When you get tired of looking at me, just get the helmet on there. Wow, that's so cool. This is pretty surreal. You guys should get one. I'm gonna buy one too. <laughs> well, if you wanna see them in action, go watch it on Netflix. We got both seasons there, so go check it out. One more item to reveal to you guys, uh, and that is the Tenga two pack. What? Bow, bow, bow. Uh, so this is a two pack of our favorite uh, foot soldiers, the Tenga Warriors. It comes with the two Tengas in two different color variations. So you have a green version and a blue version, as well as their corresponding two sets of hands and two sets of wings and two blast effect pieces. Uh, we know that uh, you guys love these figures, we love these figures, yeah. and so we wanted to make sure that you could get them um, army builder style in a two pack with some really cool variations to change things up on your shelf as they battle the ninja rangers and everyone else they fought. I think they fought yeah. a lot of people. They fought a lot of people. So um, let's take a look. The Tango Warrior two pack is a fan channel exclusive for pre-order on Hasbro Pulse or other fan retailers right uh, today. Not today. right now. Not right now. No. <laughs> today at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Hey, hey Derek. Got a thing to show you. Awesome. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. This is a huge box. It's very this is, big. This is a gigantic box. Slide off the sleeve. Looking good. Got this gigantic box inside. You can still pre-order this. Get your secure your copy from Hasbro Pulse and other retailers. But the site itself might be up later on in the yeah. year. We'll see. Check out the dope illustration by Tracy Good. Yeah. yeah. And then under the hood, we've got another dope illustration. Yes. This is one of my low-key favorite parts of Zap is the inside the front uh, lid yeah. illustration. Yeah. Premium uh, touches everywhere. Speaking of premium. <laughs> Speaking of premium, underneath the hood, we have the control panel from inside the Astro Megazord, which is what you're going to see as soon as you open up the box. Yes. Boom. Nice. Behold. Dad. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll take a step just, back. Yeah, just, yeah. yeah. Take a look. I think this might be your first time seeing this as well. It is. I haven't seen this in person. Yeah. Oh, sorry. You can look. Sorry. No, no. It's fine. Okay. No, it's really Admire, weird. admire. This is just neat. And it's the 25th anniversary of In Space, but it's still huge. It's like a full other figure. Yeah. Bigger. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, I got to say, being able to work on this uh, with you guys, with some of the best uh, team here at Hasbro, has been an absolute career highlight. So thank you guys. Yeah, thank, thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, and being able to bring uh, this uh, Astro Megazord to the fans has been uh, an absolute pleasure. I'm very excited for you guys to get your hands on them. That'll wrap it for our Zord Ascension Project Dash from Megazord yeah. unboxing. Thank you guys so much for making it look super awesome. Tell them what's coming next. I'm very excited to actually be able to introduce to you uh, two posters that we developed with him, and his name is Orlando Arosena. That's awesome. Yeah, aren't they great? I really love this, like, prism effect that you guys have going on it really does show this sort of the the more phenomenal uh action happening yeah and we were like really inspired by uh looking at you know retro pop art you know um because power rangers has roots in sentai also we looked at a lot of japanese anime pop art uh we are also inspired by neo tokyo neon vibes as you'll see from the lights there also we took a little bit from you know the whole teleportation mm -hmm. that uh they had Tell us how that translated into the packaging art. Yeah, sure. So I have some packages here with me. You have the Yellow Ranger and the Blue Ranger here. So you'll see that, you know, we have, it's really inspired our branding, right? Uh, so we have the Yellow Ranger here in that 30th style. We also, if you turn to the side of the box, 
we have that style with all the rangers celebrating 30th. And then if you want to display it on the other side, you also have that choice and an option. And then you kind of pair them together to have their walking poses. So the back, I love that. yeah, the back here as well. We have the morphing pose again. You can see it really clearly. And then of course, uh, the product with everything it comes with. For 30 years, we really wanted to celebrate what makes Power Rangers so special. And it's that morphing moment, right? It's what makes them the Ranger. So this is really supposed to be that, that moment where they become a Ranger. That's why they come with their morphers and their morphing hands. Um, you can see tiny open mini morpher. Moving on to Trini, obviously. Uh, we again did a new portrait. I was really excited to get the opportunity to work on Trini and do another portrait for her. Um, so we updated her hairstyle and did something a little bit different here. Uh, you often see her in the 90s series with a couple of different iconic hairstyles and this is one of them. So I was really excited to do the ponytail feature. Again, you can notice that she has the extra belt deco on her holster and belts. And same thing on her weapons, there's some extra detailing and uh, deco there. And she also comes with her open mini morpher. Oh, and I don't think I mentioned this. It does not sacrifice a set of hands. So you actually get three sets of hands in this set. So you get the uh, morphing hands, the grip hands, and the fighting hands. And again, her super cool morphing blast effects. So these will be really fun. I can't wait to see what you guys do and how you pose these out and how it all comes together. And yeah, we have more for you. Obviously, this is just two out of the original cast members. So there are more to come, but really excited to highlight these for you today. Speaking of things we get to enjoy together, we have the Kaido reveal today. Yeah. So we're going to cue that up. Go, go, Power Rangers! You mighty Morphin Power Rangers! Well, yes. I got chills, so... <laughs> it's <laughs> very exciting. And it is still a dino-themed season, but other aspects are upgraded. Uh, you'll see from the drawings that the iconic um, Power Rangers Lightning Bolt logo has been incorporated into the costumes and a lot of the props as well. You can see it there on Black Ranger's belt buckle. So there's, there, there's an image of Black Ranger Harvey, and you'll see he's got his unique Stego Spike weapon as well. Now, the props and the morphers were designed by uh, Tracy Collins, who is our production designer um, in the art department. And she and Sarah Boone collaborate on these things because obviously they need to work together. And each ranger has a new original hero weapon. And another interesting thing about this season is that the morphers, um, which are in the shape of, of dinosaur heads, they also operate as blasters. So they can be used as a ranged weapon um, as well as the melee weapons that the rangers have in their hands. We've got another um, ranger we can show people. Ah, Ooh. this is Zato's, Zato's Ranger and his new suit. You'll see that it's evolved from the, um, the suit he was wearing at the very end of Dino Fury. This is his Cosmic Fury Ranger suit. And in the season, he is going to be called Zenith Ranger. I can't say much more about what that means, but when you watch the show, you will find out. So this is Zenith Ranger, otherwise known as Zato. And I think we have one more reveal here. Oh, we do. And this is a big reveal. Yeah. yeah. This is Amelia's <laughs> new suit. And you'll notice that her pink is no longer pink, but she is going to be the Red Ranger for this season, making her the first long-term female Red Ranger who is also the leader of the team for the entire season, which we are very excited about. And there they all are. And Amelia has got her Ankylo hammer weapon, which is her personalized melee weapon. Um, and you can see the skirt there. And Izzy, of course, Green Ranger doesn't have a skirt because she doesn't wear skirts. And um, 
there they all are. It, it's it, it's a great it's a great bunch of characters, and um, can't wait for you to see them in action. Um, I've already seen them in action because we've just finished filming, and we have filmed all ten episodes, and I'm very excited about the show. And there's a little there's a little surprise that we've got here, I think, to 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 share with the viewers today. A little sneak preview of awesome. something that was filmed on set. Hi everyone, it's time to see our new Cosmic Fury suits. Guys, show them off. What do you think? Oh, yeah. What do you think? Oh, they're so cool. I love the lightning bolt on the belt. Oh, yeah, and look, it's so abs. sick. New morphers? Finally. <laughs> oh, the new things. Little orbs. Here, Tess, here, come on, take the phone. Take the phone. You show off. Oh. You check out Wait, Do you guys notice anything new? Wait a minute. Oh. I thought that was my color. That's a weird pink. <gasps> well, look at your color. Bro. And you have a cape. You're like, I do have a cape. <laughs> You're like How reverse cool. Dracula. Oh, it's a good color on you, man. You're all good colors on you. I guess oh, you guys no have shit. to tune in to see why. Oh, it's filming time. We gotta go. We gotta go. Come on. Hey, yo! <laughs> I love that.